In the series Kaiju Number 8, Kaiju are monsters that attack society far and wide, forcing the world to take arms and fight back any way they can. Eventually, the Anti-Kaiju Defense Force was created, a military faction split into multiple divisions, home to multiple soldiers of different skills and assets, all combining their power to slay Kaiju. Rino Ichikawa is an officer now currently assigned to the 4th Division that joined in the same recruitment year as Kafka Hibino, Kaiju No. 8. As the Dirtaragonist of the series, Rino is a competent soldier in the Defense Force and a loyal partner to Kafka, and even more recently, Recently, Reno has become the weapons master for identified Kaiju number six, also known as the King of Kaiju. Starting from the beginning, Reno Ichikawa was an employee at Monsters Sweep Inc., a Kaiju corpse disposal unit, and after having his life saved by Kafka Habino and witnessing the latter's transformation into Kaiju number eight, Reno, initially a very reserved and quiet boy, opened up to Kafka and decided to stay by his side as the two prepared to enlist in the defense force. Unlike Kafka, Reno was able to excel using the anti-Kaiju combat suit and bring out high percentage of it even on his first try, with multiple higher ups in the force claiming Reno's skills surely have the potential to become captain level over time. Reno can easily run high speeds with a full-grown Kafka on his shoulders, and surprisingly, Reno also had the reflexes to dodge and attempt to even counter Kaiju No. 9's high-speed projectile attacks. In his short meeting with Kaiju No. 9, Reno is able to accurately assess what direction No. 9's bullets fire in, thanks to Kikaru's early encounter with the Kaiju. Reno was able to continue fighting and protect his comrade against the Dai Kaiju threat, even after being shot multiple times by Kaiju No. 9. Able to survive just long enough against these impossible odds for Kafka Habino to show up and save the day. This tenacity and undying loyalty to protect his peers is something that shines through Reno's quiet exterior, constantly allowing Reno to break his own limits and rise above any challenge he faces, ultimately making Reno the perfect candidate to try and synchronize with Kaiju number six, as his inability to give up creates the kind of durability required to survive an ordeal like wielding a numbers weapon. In the case of the King of Kaiju, Kaiju No. 6 receives its title for performing the most destructive, cataclysmic incident in known history. Leading an army of Hanju-class Kaiju, No. 6 launched an all-out attack on the country and wasn't taken down until a total of 200 defense officers and three division captains were defeated along with it. An impressive feat in and of itself, one of the captains Kaiju No. 6 killed was Hikaru Shinomiya, the weapons wielder for Kaiju No. 4 and one of the strongest soldiers in defense force history. History. Kaiju No. 6 was a colossal beast of pure destruction, with no other desire but to bring everything in front of it down. Having one of the highest fortitudes ever recorded of 9.6, even after it was defeated, the weaponized Kaiju lie in cold storage, too powerful to be tamed by any officer attempting to synchronize with it. At least until Reno, who despite all odds and potential lethality of the merge, after only one month of training, Reno was able to create a baseline symbiote with Kaiju number six. Not as high of a synchronization like the rest of his peers, but enough to wield the King of Kaiju's power as his own and receive a significant stat increase in all categories. The King of Kaiju's unique ability is known as Cryokinesis, the power to conjure and control ice. In its original Kaiju form, wherever number six went, a gigantic blizzard followed and surrounded it. Weaponized and converted into a combat suit, when worn by Reno, the officer constantly emits a freezing energy that permeates around his location. This energy can then be converted into actual ice and is released from any limb Reno desires. Reno can make ice on his feet to stick to surfaces, or even drastically improve his speed to compete with and even outpace Daikaiju level threats. By placing his palm on and making contact with his enemies, Reno can flash freeze them almost instantly depending on how thick their exterior is. And combining this with the explosive freezing rounds fired from his rifle, Reno can even heavily buff the range of these ice shots to blow up and completely cover large distances of area. When Reno first used Kaiju No. 6's suit in combat, his overwhelming sense of loyalty and responsibility took away any self-awareness during the fight, turning Reno into a mindless Kaiju killing machine at the cost of causing massive internal damage to his muscles 
levels. Although his combat potential and synchronization with number six rises from 43% to 51, the toll and risk on Reno's body is so great, the officer literally snapped his own ankle just from moving harder and faster than he currently could handle. This reckless trance would also make Reno a liability by indiscriminately freezing the area around him. However, thanks to his relationship with his comrades and a want to fight equally by Kafka's side, he eventually overrides this rage episode, allowing Reno to properly wield Kaiju Number no. 6's strength and develop its power into a more reliable tool. The next time we see Reno, his numbers weapon has received a huge upgrade in the addition of 16 small portable cannons that surround Reno in circular fashion. These individual cannons are each capable of firing supremely debilitating freeze rounds that, when used in tandem with each other, can freeze an entire city block and incapacitate an entire group of Daikaiju class threats all at once. Reno also has access to a barrier shield that can endure energy beams shown to destroy entire buildings. It's unknown how much of his synchronization level Reno can rise to now, but it's assumed with his increase in range and effectiveness, as well as the more level-headed Reno can be while using his weapon, it's speculated it's significantly increased since we last saw Reno use number 6 in the trial run, now able to dispatch multiple Dai Kaijus with little to no effort, almost as fast as his partner Kaiju number 8 can, even if if Reno isn't bringing out 100% synchronicity, the power of the King of Kaiju is a devastating force of nature, and thankfully, in the good hands of Reno. With only about half of his full potential realized, it will surely be interesting to see what heights Reno can reach at maximum output. Let me know all your thoughts in the comments below, and make sure to hit the like button if you enjoyed the video. I sincerely appreciate you making it this far, and please consider subscribing if you want to keep seeing more content like this in your feed. Check out an end screen video if you want to continue your binge, and I'll see you guys all in the next one. Peace.